Hey everybody, Dutch Sense here. 12.18 p.m. Central Time on Wednesday, February 4th, 2015. And I've got you over here on my Facebook page. I'm going to put a link down below to it and I've put a link down below to this story. Check it out, guys. Breaking news on fizz.org. Look what they're talking about. This was just posted about three hours ago now. Could New England face a major earthquake? And let's go ahead and look at the article here. Now, I'm not going to read this to you, but what they're talking about is that it's not likely that it's going to happen, but then they bring up the swarms that have been happening and how there could be signs of a coming earthquake in the near term. And they're asking it might be worthwhile as to ask whether building codes are up to date. <laughs> okay, now why is that such a, a big deal? Well, over the past several days going into the last couple weeks, uh, we saw a swarm develop on the East Coast that was forecast. And over the last several days, I issued multiple forecasts. Yesterday, late last night, issued this, West Coast and East Coast Earthquake Watch. And I told you why we're watching and uh, laid out the areas to watch over the next five to seven days. That's as of this morning, basically, or 11 hours ago. And also, the other breaking news, Oklahoma bans fracking injection wells near the Kansas border based upon the 4.0 earthquakes that happened on the first that no one reported on, uh, there were five different 4.0 earthquakes that struck across Oklahoma on the first. And now, last night, at midnight, directly on the money, 12.01 a.m., they issued the press release saying that they are banning the injection wells near the area where this 4.0 activity occurred. Also, let me go ahead and show you something here that's kind of funny. I get this all the time. People come over and they deny everything that I put out. I put out a post showing that the earthquake forecast that I issued for uh, Southern California, for Salton Sea in particular, came to fruition. We were watching for that moderate movement to begin there. And of course, a 3.4 struck at the Salton Sea Volcanic Buttes. And someone came over and said, um, you know, uh, here, I'll just read it to you here. This earthquake occurred nowhere near the Salton Sea Buttes. It was roughly 100 miles south near the plate boundary in the earthquake region of the Seven Pointer a couple of years ago. There were no new quakes last night in the region of the Buttes, which has seen a recent swarm. Now, why are they denying it? Well, it proves me right. First of all, I guess that's why they're denying it. Well, if you go look up the earthquake, go look up the earthquake epicenter from the USGS, here are the coordinates, and you can see my reply to this guy. You can read that. Just go ahead and pause it and read my reply. But this is what is at the location. One of the Salton Sea buttes that extends all the way down through northern Baja, Mexico. Now this person obviously doesn't know how to look up earthquakes, put the coordinates in on Google Earth and go look it up. They'd see the black volcano right there and they wouldn't have said anything. And they also have their own version, a man-made version of their own Salton Sea which they use and it looks almost just like the Salton Sea to the north which here let's go ahead and look. Okay there's Chero Prieto, and just to show you that it's the only nearby butte around, I mean, it stands out like a sore thumb, so that person obviously didn't know how to look that up. But here it is, just, I mean, there's Cerro Prieto, and here's Salton Sea. And that's not 100 miles, by the way. But, so they're doing the same thing at Salton Sea, and they uh, spread this water out, and they'll get the minerals out of the water that comes up from the hot springs associated with the shallow magma chamber. They have gas domes there. They've got a whole bunch of geothermal wells extending down through here. We've caught plumes erupting from this location, confirmed in the mainstream media as geothermal plumes when the geothermal wells erupted due to overpressure last year. And uh, most people don't know that it happened. So yes, this is a fault zone, but erupting off of the fault zones are these small little volcanic buttes where when pressure gets too great down below, it literally pushes the magma up from these smaller chambers and causes small volcanoes to Most people have heard about the stories in Southern California going down into Mexico in the 1910s, 1920s, where a volcano popped up overnight. I don't know exactly where it was, but reports of uh, flames and smoke in the area, and overnight a hill formed. And that was just, you know, 80 years ago. 
So these people who are commenting and in denial, they don't want to give any cred where cred's due because, well, they don't want to admit that they were wrong. And let's just go back and just talk about all the topics that I've covered recently. Okay, I got the packet of information from Harp. You guys may not know that. I did a freedom of information request. Very few people watched the video, but I got a huge packet of information from the United States uh, Naval Research Laboratory, and it confirms that they were using microwaves to generate plasma in the, in the laboratory and using HARP to generate plasma bubbles in the atmosphere and using microwaves to control and inflate that once it's formed. And what does that prove? That proves HARP ranks right. 100%. They even talk about 2.45 gigahertz being used, which 2.4 gigahertz is what's used at next rad radar when we see the pulses. Okay, so that's proved right. Fracking earthquakes proved right. They've now shut down wells. They've shut down operations in Ohio based upon the earthquake connection, which everybody called me a conspiracy theorist for as well. So conspiracy theorist for the weather modification via frequency now proved right via the findings from the U.S. Navy and the U.S. Air Force. And, of course, calling me conspiracy theorist for the fracking earthquakes, which also has been proved right. Called me conspiracy theorist for the plumes, which were confirmed by the mainstream media and confirmed by the oil companies. Those weren't farmers' fields burning guys out in the middle of fracking country. Those were frack wells that were off-gassing, and that's confirmed now. They've put a limit on the amount of burn-off they can do. And what they would do was time those burn-offs at certain times of the day, and that's why we'd see huge states, multiple states erupt right up to the border of each state. They weren't setting fires all at once. Those were burn-offs timed. And it's proved. So everything that I brought to you, weather modification via frequency, plumes, earthquakes via fracking, and earthquakes at dormant volcanoes, all confirmed. All confirmed. There is no doubt about it now. The facts are in. So, <laughs> where do we go from here? Um, first of all, I the, the days of being called a conspiracy theorist for weather modification, fracking, and now earthquake forecasting are over. You can forecast an earthquake. If you don't believe me, you guys can do it. You can do what I'm doing. There is no doubt about it. It's a repeatable scientific method. You can watch an adjacent area for five to seven days next to an area that's moving, and you will see those earthquakes transfer over. That defies geology, that defies seismicity, I understand. Textbooks are going to have to be rewritten, whatever, but anybody can do this. So, just wanted to do an explanation for you guys, give you a heads up on what's been happening here. You know, we got a confirmation on Oklahoma, we got the confirmation on the earthquakes, and we've got confirmation on harp and harp rings. It's a huge time right now to be online, but the response, check it out. Look, I mean, it's ridiculous. The response is just... I'm being censored, no doubt about it, and I'm not going to complain. You know, Tat's done many videos on this, trying to explain to you guys how we get censored. But let me just show you here. Okay, this has been up for an hour. At peak time, so roughly 1 o'clock in the afternoon, been up for an hour, going out to 45,000 people on the feed, letting everybody know, watch for New England movement, one share. 23 people like it, one share. It's not that the news is bad. You know, here's something funny. Three shares. Okay, 19 shares. 76 people like it, 19 people share. Why? Why is that? I don't think the people are being reached, personally. I don't think you guys are getting the videos in your feeds. I don't think you're getting them delivered in your email. And I don't think you're coming to check. And between all of that together, well, let me just put it this way. I'm doing this because I believe in the truth, not because you guys are responding well, okay? Um, much love. Be safe. Always have an earthquake plan ready. Be prepared just in case.